And uh, Sean King, who's the uh, one of the founders of, or one of the early activists of uh, Black Lives Matter, he had this amazing statement. Uh, he said that, uh, let's see, that we needed to bring down the statues of uh, the white European they claim as Jesus should also come down. They're a form of white supremacy. All murals and stained glass windows of white Jesus and his European mother and their white friends should also come down. So now, I guess, statues of Jesus uh, are next with the, uh, with the with the bullseyes on them. Uh, and I guess once you, once you start pulling down statues of Jesus, then maybe you start going after human beings. This is a mad, completely out of control mob. They're not talking about any serious agenda items or proposals or policy changes. It's about uh, total destruction and mayhem. And I hope, I, I don't hope, I, I fear it might be eventually uh, carnage and bloodshed. These things well, can break down very, very quickly. the president has talked about the fact that there is that there is um, a federal law against defacing prop, uh, property and federal memorials and monuments, that kind of thing. He says it can be um, up to 10 years in prison for those who are caught and prosecuted and convicted of this. Andy, you've been on the scene of a number of these protests. Um, do you think that's enough of a deterrent to stop folks? Yes, there should be severe prosecutions for those who are destroying public property. Look, I think there's, uh, there is a legal process for how citizens want to change monuments or statues, the way to not do it is to go out in a mob and to destroy property. Unfortunately, the precedent has been set in Democrat-run cities that if you use violence, we will give you what you want. If we're only going to get more of it. Well, we'll see. And if there are prosecutions, a lot of these folks are on tape and on camera. And so we'll see if that goes anywhere. Uh, DeRoy and Andy, thank you both for weighing in tonight. Good to see you. Thank you very much.